welcome to Behind the Music for Daily Hope. This weekend we have come to the end of our series about Esther, coming to the end of this story full of so much intrigue and suspense. As Pastor Susan said last week, it seems like every chapter leaves us with a cliffhanger. So here we go, we're going to finish it up and learn about how brave Queen Esther goes in. She's able to save her people with the help of Mordecai and then he's exalted and elevated, becomes second in command. The Jews go on to live happily ever after, at least for a while there in the kingdom. And so we're going to be wrapping that up and I'd invite you to be a part of worship with us. Now we have several services here at Victory. We have a four o'clock on Saturday. We have two traditional services on Sunday at 8 and 9 30 and then a contemporary Lutheran service at 11 o'clock. All of those will be learning about the end of Esther. Also this weekend we're celebrating Labor Day thinking about how we're called to work in our different vocations, whether that's in the workplace or retired or home, wherever it is, we're all called in our work. And then there's also something else exciting happening this weekend, and that is we have a guest pastor with us, a potential associate here. So if you're not here in town, watch us on our live stream at 9.30. Otherwise, I would love for you to come out and be a part of worship here at Victory. That was a lot of information. <laughs> but back to Queen Esther and what is our takeaway from this story? Esther was put in a position that she didn't look for. She didn't ask to become an orphan. She didn't ask to live with a relative. She didn't ask to be taken into the king's court. She didn't ask to become queen. She certainly didn't ask to have to put her life on the line to try and go in and take care of her people. But she did all of those things as she followed God's leading. And so that's sort of the call to us to open our hearts and our minds and be willing to go where God calls us. There's a wonderful hymn that we like here and in many churches across denominations, Here I Am Lord. It's kind of fitting this week, you know, as we're looking at candidating, candidating for an associate pastor. And also we just commissioned this last weekend, our team that's gonna go to Orchard Africa to be part of the mission there and just trying to serve the world in whatever capacity we can. Now, John 15 says, you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit. This is my command, love one another. So here we go. We all have the command to love one another. And in this hymn, it talks a little bit about that. I'm gonna read you the second verse. I, the Lord of snow and rain, I have borne my people's pain. I have wept for love of them, they turn away. I will break their hearts of stone, give them hearts for love alone. I will speak my word to them, whom shall I send? There's the question for us. And here's our response, here I am, Lord. Is it I, Lord? I have heard you calling in the night. I will go, Lord, if you lead me. I will hold your people in my heart. So wherever God is calling you to take care of his people, it might be in your house, in your neighborhood, in a distant country, online, there's so many places where we can follow God's calling. Uh, you might know this hymn, if not, I hope you enjoy it for the first time. Otherwise, enjoy this beautiful arrangement of Here I Am, Lord. <laughs> 